Thank you so much for watching our song and story today. We hope you enjoy it. It's all about lions today. Have a great day. We have a story about a lion today, and we wanted to sing a song about a day when the lions will be friendly. A real little lion in heaven, a real little lion thou be, a real little lion in the new earth, and the little lion won't hurt me. A real little lion in heaven, a real little lion thou be. A real little lion in the new earth, and the lion won't hurt me. Nathaniel, did you know that here on this earth, the lions are mean to other animals? And they're mean to the little lambs, and they're mean to other animals that are littler than them, because they need food. But in the Bible, it says that in heaven, when we get to where Jesus lives, the lion and the lamb will lay down together, and they'll be good friends. Because Jesus will make sure that every animal has lots of food. Yeah. Should we try our song one more time? Can you play your guitar? A real little lion in heaven, a real little lion thou be, a real little lion in the new earth, and the lion won't hurt me. Do you have a book? It's called That's Not My Lion. Yeah. Let's talk about your book. That's not my lion. Its nose is too fuzzy. See his nose? It's too fuzzy. Yeah. The words are by Fiona Watt, and the pictures are by Rachel Wells. Yeah. Let's look inside. That's not my lion. Its ears are too soft. Feel those ears, Andrew? That's not my lion. Its paws are too rough. Look at these paws, brother. Can you feel the paws? Oh, there's a monkey in our life. Yeah, let's see what the next page is. That's not my lion. Its tail is too fluffy. Andrew, look at this tail. See the tail? That's not my lion. His teeth are too shiny. That's my lion. His mane is so shaggy. Do you like that book, Andrew? Yeah, the flip. What do you think? Andrew, what do you think, huh? Yeah, that's the book called... Let's see, let's look at the front cover. That's not my lion. There we go, there you have it. Yay! The book we want to read to you today is called Leo, A Baby Lion Story. The words were written by Catherine Dewey, and the pictures were drawn and designed by Eugene Epstein and Laura Gurin. It was a hot day in the Serengeti Plains, and the air shimmered with sun and heat. Almost all the grown-up lions had climbed into trees to nap. They would sleep until evening. My sister tried to climb the tree. She couldn't. My brother and I tried. We weren't quite strong enough yet. Daniel, have you tried to climb trees? No. Not yet? No. We're going to have to work on that. Do you like to climb rocks? Yes. Uh, 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 and pretend them are bulldozers. You pretend the rocks are bulldozers, don't you? Yeah. My mother just watched until we all gave up. Stay close to me, she told us in her deep, rumbling voice. Then she led us toward the river. She knew a place where we could all cool off. We walked beside my mother for a long time, but when my sister spotted a fallen acacia tree, we all ran toward it. Our mother followed us. The branches were wide, and it wasn't too steep. Mother didn't mind waiting for us. She knew we had to practice climbing. We have to learn how to do everything that grown-up lions can do. We all raced to make it to the highest branch. My sister got there first, but we were right behind her. I was really excited. Then I slipped and almost fell. My mother roared, not a loud roar, a soft one. Hang on, she was saying. You can do it. 
I dug my claws into the bark and pulled myself back up. Then we all held very still and looked out over the land. From the branch, we could see all the way to the river. There were elephants splashing in the cool water, and antelope were grazing on the riverbank. My mother roared again. This time it was a very loud roar. Three lionesses answered her from far away, somewhere near the river. That meant most of the mother lions were already there. It was time to go. It was a long, hot walk to the river. We waded into the water and took a long drink. Then my brother and my sister lay down to nap. My mother was the first one to go to sleep. The shade was wonderful. The sound of the river was soft and sweet. But I just wasn't sleepy. I kept wading in the shallows, listening to the birds. Suddenly, I noticed an odd sound that I had never heard before coming from behind a big sickle bush. I lowered my body like my mother does when she is hunting. I crept forward very slowly, crawling in the leaves. It was a little bird, whirring its wings, drinking flower nectar. Daniel, do you know what kind of bird that is? Yeah. You know what its name is? Nectar. It's drinking nectar. It's called a hummingbird. Hummingbird. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No. Let's see. Then I heard another sound. Breathing? I looked up. There was a giraffe staring at me. <laughs> it looked as tall as a tree. Crouching, I waited until the giraffe walked away, swaying like grass in a soft wind. I wish my mother was with me. I was never scared when she was close by. I knew it was time to go back, but then I saw a... What is that that he saw, Nathaniel? Can you tell? What is that? A frog. It looks kind of like a frog. It's actually a lizard. Have you seen a lizard before? No. We saw one outside, remember, on the on the rock? Yeah. The lizard we saw was brown, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a lizard. It saw me, and it ran. I had to chase it. I ran as fast as I could, but the lizard skittered through the grass so fast I couldn't keep up. I made one last long leap, but it got away. When I stared at the grass and trees in front of me, they didn't look any different from the grass and trees behind me. I turned in a slow circle. Oh, I was lost. Do you know what it means to be lost, Nathaniel? Yeah. It means you don't know where your mommy is. You don't know where home is. That would be a sad feeling, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. At first I thought it would be easy to find my mother, but it wasn't. I could smell the river, but I couldn't tell which direction the scent was coming from in the still air. I wasn't sure what to do. I just knew I needed to get back to my family. The sun would go down before too long. When I saw the tree with the low, wide limbs, I ran toward it. I jumped as high as I could and dug my claws into the bark. Then I worked my way upward. I knew I had to make it. And I did! From the high branch, I could see the river. I could see my family. My mother wasn't sleeping now. She was pacing the river bank. I knew what she was doing. It was getting late and she was looking for me. When I got down, I knew exactly which way to go. The giraffes just watched me run past this time. I found the sickle bush and went through the branches. Then I was on the path by the river and I ran even faster. My mother was very happy to see me. I sat still while she licked my face and smoothed my fur. That night I snuggled close to my brother and sister. It was wonderful to be back with my family. Leo, a baby lion story. Thank you so much for watching our song and story today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Come back again. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Andrew. Say bye.